Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this amazing logotype inspired by the Kaha Kaha Zen logotype. Basically this is the replica of this logotype but this is this what we are using when we are copying some design this logo is inspired so this is the, uh, his design. Just go to the dribble.com, you will see a lot of uh, logos by Kaha Kaha Zen, including this logo as well. But today I'm going to show you how to design it in Adobe Illustrator in this simple step-by-step -step, uh, video and also the article is available to you on vitorials.net. So you can uh, go to the link in the description and read the article. Uh, if you have any question, uh, ask them in the comments form below. Okay, so let's get started with a new document. Control N or Command N on your mark. I'm working with the 1920 by 1080 pixels and click uh, Create. First of all, we need to render the grid. Control Quad or Command Quad on your mark and Control Shift Quad or Command Shift Quad. You can also go to the view and snap to the grid, reveal the grid and uh, so on. But as you can see, I have the custom grid. So let's customize the grid. Uh, go to the edit preferences, grids, uh, guides and grid. Open this and set the grid line every 20 pixels and subdivision to one. Uh, basically, I didn't customize the grid. I simplify it and I'm working with the simple possible grid in with Adobe Illustrator. So let's grab the ellipse. So click L on your keyboard and first render the field to nothing. We don't need it uh, at all. So grab the shift and alt also hold them on your keyboard and start drawing the random uh, circle. And as you can see, I already have my size 320 pixels by 320 pixels. You can use this uh, fields to set the same size. Don't forget that you are also need to keep ratio between width and height. And uh, I want to increase the stroke just for you to, to see what is going on on my layers and create a couple of duplicates by holding Alt and dragging to the bottom. So I need to create the duplicate on the bottom and I need to create the duplicates on the sides. Uh, here I also using the shift key because I'm moving to the straight line. Uh, the position of my duplicates is exactly three cells between this bottom and the side and the same here on my right. So three cells or 60 pixels. Guys, next step is very important. We are going to use the common tangent screen. So go to the vitorials.net and download this script for free. It's uh, created by Hiroyuki Sata. It's absolutely free script and it's absolutely necessary to a lot of logo designs. So um, you need to place this script, unzip it, grab the common tangents GS here and place it on this direction. So go to the, your Windows DC, then go to the Adobe installation, find it. Uh, for me, it's program files, then Adobe, then Adobe Illustrator CC, then presets, then in US, uh, then the uh, scripts finally, and place it here. Then you will see this uh, script under this file scripts common tangents. Okay, so we are good to go. Let me select two of my objects and create the first tangent. So file, script, common tangents. I want to delete these diagonal lines. The same is here, guys. File, scripts, common tangents. And delete these diagonal lines as well. As you can see, it's overlap with my circle. I have no idea what this happened, but uh, in order to, to pull it down, I need to control shift code to unsnap from the grid. You can also use this view unsnap the grid and then I, I need to use the bottom arrow key with the minimal increment so I can be as precise as possible. If you want to uh, know how to use the increment, you need to go to the edit, preferences again, general. And here you can set the increment, keyboard increment. This is the distance 
of your arrows. In my case, it's 0.1 pixel. You can set any distance you want. So let me check it by using the outline view, control Y, command Y, or go to the view outline. So this is exactly what I need here. So it's barely touch the tangents. And I want to select everything. Let me leave the outline view. Control with control A command A. I want to select everything and grab the shape builder tool. Shift M on your keyboard and select my design. This is what I need to achieve, guys. You need to achieve this letter A, abstract letter A, and delete uh, unnecessary stuff here because we are preparing the shape for the 3D extruding bevel. It's need to be absolutely clear. And it's also advisable to change the stroke color because the shading of the black is a questionable thing, right? So go to the effect 3D with your shape selected, of course. Go to the effect 3D and extrude and bevel. And under this dialog box, render the angle. And um, in my case, it will be negative 40 degrees. Then it's increase the extrude depth i'm using 500 and right now we are good to check preview this is what we have but we for sure don't need so many shapes and we don't need uh, even this extrusion this shading so we need to from the surface drop down select the no shading option click ok uh yeah you might think that it um, looks uh, miserable right now but hold on guys use the ctrl shift u oh sorry this is the custom shortcut by the way if you want to learn how to set your custom shortcuts scripts actions and uh, all the goods that illustrator used to streamline your workflow uh, enroll in my course uh, see the links on the comments so uh, go to the object rider Expand appearance. As you can see, I installed my custom shortcuts. It's very easy, guys. Uh, expand appearance. Now go and ungroup this uh, object. Use ungroup from your right context menu or just Ctrl Shift G, Command Shift G on your Mac. Uh, ungroup it twice. Now, guys, we need to select these three left shape. Let me show you again. So it will be top left then middle left and the bottom left shapes and we need to combine them by using the pathfinder if you can find your pathfinder panel go to the windows pathfinder here shift ctrl f9 <laughs> if you uh, use this shortcut for me it's uh, the shortcuts with f9 f1 f2 is a bit too much okay this shape then select this shape on the bottom bottom left shape and again the there are three compartments here and again unite guys i want to change the color again for you so you can see what is going on so i united this shape then i want to select this shape on the bottom right and again united this one as well and want to recolor it as well something dark and finally, I want to select this shape on my right. It has four compartments and want to unite them as well. And want to push it on the bottom of my layer stack by using Ctrl Shift left bracket or Command Shift left bracket on your Mac. And as you can see, this uh, shape is a bit weird. Um, it contains a lot of unnecessary stuff and uh, you can delete uh, this unnecessary stuff very simple so let me show you the most reliable way how to do it is to use the simple plane minus anchor tool delete anchor point tool
just like this you can also use the knife tool to delete it so it's uh, absolutely up to you what you are going to use um, okay so let's me align everything because i have the alignment problem for some of the reasons okay now it's perfectly fine and i want to apply the gradients so i want to grab the shape they already created paste it here and uh, rope the gradients let me so for this left i'm using uh, the this gradient as you can see my gradient panel is open 24 cf d4 guys i don't want to bother you with the colors because all of the colors are in my uh, vitorials.net article so go ahead and uh, select all of these colors on the right we have ca e4 f9 next one is the these two is dark blue and finally this uh, a reddish uh, gradient as well okay and finally i want to show you how to create these shadows it's very easy you need to select the left part and holding alt and holding shift move it to the right then select the right part and make a duplicate ctrl c ctrl f you, you can see we are working only with these two duplicates let me again enter the outline mode so you can see these are two duplicates and then go to the pathfinder intersect command to run this pathfinder intersect command to create the intersect this will be our shadow let me enter the normal mode and this shadow we can push it back uh, in our board, uh, layer stack obviously control bracket command bracket on your mark next we need to change the fill to light gray and change the blending mode on the transparency panel if you can see transparency panel go to the windows transparency here and from this drop down select the multiply that's all uh, next is up to you guys again create a duplicate create another duplicate select the boss run the intersect hide it below the initial shape so uh, control left bracket and uh, go to the and just select this one as well and finally the last one that i'm using in this tutorial is the again drag with the alt then ctrl c ctrl f select pause run the pathfinder then ctrl left bracket and finally select the colors and gradient okay and this is guys this is it this is the final result if you enjoyed give some bob subscribe to my channel and go to vitorials.net for more adobe illustrator and graphic designer tutorials thank you for watching enjoy your day